Hey everyone, Sneaky here, and welcome to the Thief Call mission of Thief's New Year, which is actually made by me back in 2014, so let's get started with this mission. Once again, you need money for your naggy landlord. Get at least 1200 in loot. Since you're going out into the cold, get something warm for your head. Find a warm hat. You're in the mood for something to spice the holidays up. Find a yummy thing of eggnog. You're in the mood for something sweet. Find a candy cane. Since you're being so naughty, you should get something to show it. Get a lump of coal. There is no need to spill any blood on the holidays. No killing anyone. And once you're done, all of your objectives get back to your hotel room. Okay, so... This is actually a holiday mission I made way back in 2014. Room 2. Feels like forever ago, but I'm finally going to do it on my channel. <clears throat> it's almost like a developer's commentary. Room 1. Yeah. Very nice mission, if I say so myself. <laughs> Let's get into room one. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the last mission I actually released. I haven't released anything since. I really gotta get back into it and release something. Empty eggnog. Well, that's not what we're looking for. <laughs> is here. Presence under the tree. It's the hotel owner right there. Okay. And what do you know? It's a winter mission. <laughs> Which is not too common in Thief 1 to find a winter mission. <clears throat> to break into this mechanical mechanist looking place here first. Quite the long lock. Usually I don't go for making locks this long in my levels anymore. Go. Yeah, it's quite the view from up here. I feel like I could have put a comment in there, Garrett making a comment saying nice view, but... <laughs> okay, what are else in here? I actually haven't played this level in a while. Some snow coming in through that roof there. Okay. And something cool actually, when you close this here, snow's coming through now. And it's not coming through anymore. <laughs> So that object actually stops it. Now, a well-known Let's Player, Thief uh, Fen Phoenix, actually did a Let's Play of this way back in 2014. So if you want one that's not from the developer's <laughs> perspective, then I would watch that one. Cool. Ash bombs. This is really just one I wanted to do, just to get something easy out. Yeah, it's a nice little break from the Black Parade where I get lost like 500 times. <laughs> okay, so we're on the other side of this thing here. Oh. oh, let me just get up here. And yeah, I made these enemies. That guy in there and this guy here friendly. Lighting in here. Hmm. 
and a lump of coal. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that guy comes in here or not. Oh, he does. <clears throat> I'll just sneak around him. This guy is past host. He drank a little too much. <clears throat> Storage. Twelve ten. I can't believe that Lord Govard put me in charge of this place as captain of the guard. That'll show the other guards who's boss. Twelve thirteen. That Benny is gonna get it. He's always getting drunk on duty and passing out because of how intoxicated he gets. I've given him many warnings, and if he does. It once more, he'll be fired, and he'll have to find another lord to work for. <clears throat> Twelve eighteen. Some idiot went and got an open flame to too close to the gunpowder too. T o o o, not t o. <laughs> you can tell this wasn't beta tested. <laughs> now there's a big hole in the wall. I ordered the merchant in there to cover the hole up with crates as best as he could out in the hallway. I also ordered him to put the remaining gunpowder into the attic to avoid any more accidents like the cause last night. 1222. Finally I got so -em, <laughs> not some, so -em, time off from this job until the 31st. It is pretty great that I'm the one who's mainly in charge of this place, but a lot of the time it's very hard to have to be responsible for everything that goes on in this damn place. 1231. That Benny passed out once again from his intoxication. I'll give him a, a break, though, since it's New Year's Eve, that I myself have also had a few drinks of mead. <clears throat> Got some sleepers in here. Oh. Who is there? Is someone there? Shit. How he came in here. Okay, there's one objective I actually would gosh. Way back to the starting area that I'll have to do before I do the rest of this. Yeah, there's not much reading in this mission. I only put two rebels in this. Oh. Candy cane in here, also. Yes, there it is. Look, candy cane. Nice. Oh, got some food, too. Okay. Eat. <clears throat> Samuel, make sure you cover that hole in the wall up with the crates in the storage. Also make sure you put out the remaining powder cakes into the attic so we don't have any more accidents. <coughs> and that is it for this place. There's nothing you can actually do with those powder cakes. They're not used for anything like a puzzle. <laughs> They're just there to be there. And this is just the way I would have gotten in there if I didn't have the key, or if I came in this side. Okay, Oops. here's a snowman. Okay, back up here. Okay, and that is our next place to go, up there in that window. First, I need to go back into the inn to get an objective. Shoot, I don't remember how to get back in there. There we go. Oh, shit. Damn it. Mind my French. 
there. There! Oh my goodness! It took me forever to get in there. Oh my goodness! I should have made the, an easier way to get in there. Yeah, here it is. Warm hat. I for, I don't know how I forgot that. Keep that rope there. Okay, so the next place I'm going is not down here, no. Up here. Oh, <laughs> there's something I forgot to get rid of. I was thinking of actually making an expanded version of this mission, actually, and putting it out either this year or next. He's definitely got the time. Oh, well, there's music. Let's see what in there. Oh, it sounds like there's a party going on there. Okay, here sees noisy party guests. The readable talks about. <laughs> the briefing talks about. Oh, there they all go running. Oh, there's my little call. <laughs> they all have different size purses. Look at that. Wow, this is quite the body dump here. <laughs> Yeah, and all the different skins I put on all of them. They're actually the Kulsas AIs that I used there. If any fellow drama matters know what I'm talking about. Okay, there's all of them. There it is. Bathroom here. <laughs> Twelve twenty nine. I'm going to be holding a big New Year's Eve party, and it'll hopefully be a hit. I'll be inviting many of the noble man, noble man, not noble men, <laughs> from around the city, and they'll be in for a real treat. It seems though that my wife had lost her jeweled necklace near one of those potted plants in the ballroom. I don't have time for it though, so I'll wait till after the party to search for it. I guess I don't. I guess I'm just knocking everyone out. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Getting out of the courtyard. The only one last, last place to go here now. Here's the rest of the drunk party guests that I had to take out. No. We are only at a big person. Did I not get one out? I think I did. Okay, there we go. Now, originally I was going to have a an objective activate once you act, knocked everyone out. Since the main goal is to get rid of the... Well, originally it was going to be to subdue, knock out all the noisy party guests since they were keeping me awake in there. That's literally the hotel room on the other side of this that you start in. But, <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't figure out how to add that objective in there with scripting and stuff, so I never ended up adding it. Okay. There's a 
guard walking over there. Okay, now there actually is supposed to be something here. On, I think I didn't go on expert accidentally. I'll just show that at the end of the video. It was supposed to be like a preview of an upcoming mission back then that I never ended up putting out. And there's that necklace. Back to the start. save now. Okay, so I'm actually gonna have to go through. Yeah, I was supposed to pick the gear difficulty, but I'm dumb. <laughs> I didn't pick that, which actually had a harsher loot goal. 2200. That's the only difference, though. So I'll just cut to that when I get to that part again. Okay, we're back to this part. Yeah, see, there's a... There's supposed to be an entrance in here. There we go, so yeah. This is supposed to be a preview of a creepier style of mission I was gonna put out back then, but I never ended up getting out. And I don't know how much extra loot there is down here that I added in. Yeah, it's just supposed to be like a mini thing that I added in. Sort of a subterranean style right mission. Way, that I was originally planning to put out back then, but didn't ever end up getting out. Do I have any flash bombs I can use on the sky? Shit. You're gonna run I'm gonna die. <laughs> well. Yeah, I'll just show off the rest of this, so. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Medallion. Thanks for playing this fun little mission. I know it's weird for this creepy little bonus to be in a Christmas themed mission, but I just wanted to showcase something from a future horror slash undead mission of mine. Also take your reward on the table and give yourself a pat on the back. Sneaky Kai 101 2014. Wow. That's a relic from the past that I just read to myself. It's cute. I like that. Anything on the other side here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, there's like an extra hundred loot in this one. But yeah, that is going to be it for A Thief's New Year 2014. So yeah, and the next mission I play will probably be another festive style mission. But until then, see you all back for the next episode of Thief or whatever else I do next. Bye for now.